my name is Luke Jenks. I'm the director of tech support for Meyer Sound in Europe. Uh, I've been working for the company since 1989, and uh, was also very privileged to be the product manager for the uh, JM1P, which you see behind me. What is the JM1P, and what's the feedback you've received on the product today? Well, the JM1P is Meyer Sound's first large-scale point source system uh, since the MSL4. So I believe we're talking 1995 or 96. So, uh, but it's. It's something that we've been doing for a long time, point source systems, dating all the way back to UPA 2Ps, MSL 6s, MSL 5s, MSL 10s. It's been a long tradition of uh, Meyer Sound of these tight packed point source systems. And this is our first time going back into that world for quite a while. And uh, we're really, really pleased with the results. JM1P's had a very warm reception uh, since we released it near the end of last year. Um, we uh, found it a home in nightclubs, uh, rental market, uh, all kinds of things. It's a very versatile speaker, so uh, we're really happy with, with the way it started up. So what are the technical features of the JM1P? Well, the technical features of the JM1P have a lot to do with, with what it is as a system. Um, the JM1P, being a point source system, uh, allows a lot of control in the horizontal plane. It's kind of reclaiming the horizontal is how we put it uh, when we were releasing the speaker. Uh, in uh, a market that's been largely dominated by line arrays, um, one thing about line arrays and curvilinear arrays is the horizontal is fixed. You can't equalize or optimize within that horizontal plane. The JM1P allows a user to optimize within that plane and allows them to be able to tailor the shape of that coverage to the room. A horn is another major achievement um, in this loudspeaker. It, generally, when you look at a loudspeaker and you look at specifications for a loudspeaker, um, if someone says it's 40 degrees or, or 50 degrees wide, that means that's the 60 dB down point of the high frequencies. In the JM1P, you'll find that the cutoff is much more dramatic than that. The horn is really precise. It's kind of like a razor's edge. And as in all things in audio, uh, you can talk about it but the best thing is to listen to it. So what are the sound um, design limitations that um, JM1P helps to solve for audio professionals? Well, for audio professionals, um, line arrays, uh, obviously they take up a lot of space in the vertical. There's not always that sort of room, especially in a center array, to be able to hang a long banana type array down over the center of the stage. This is much more discreet. Uh, it also allows for much easier to stack the system, so not everybody can fly their systems for every show. This is a very easily stackable system. It can go right on top of the 700 HP, which is its ideal companion. Uh, it makes a very, very powerful system in this setup, and it provides people many more options. A lot of times line arrays get used out of their intended application, and that's because uh, people consider line array the, the ultimate solution. One thing that we had to fight against, it was pretty interesting for Meyer Sound to come out with a new point source system. And everyone is demanding line arrays, but line arrays end up getting used out of their intended application quite often. And this is what fills that out. And for designers, whether it's Broadway, whether it's nightclubs, West End, uh, it has a home in any of these sort of applications. And for a rental company, uh, where they have sound designers that are designing for every show that they do. This is the type of loudspeaker that won't be left behind. It's always going to have a job on every type of show, whether that's the fill system to a line array, whether it's the main system, center fills, stage fills, side fills. Drummers love these things stacked on either side of their head. That's drummers for you, you know, but um, so that's, that's a lot of fun. And I think that it really is a tool that's been long overdue and it's really had a warm reception by designers.